my god! And we're finally almost there! Breath of the Wild 2 is coming out in less than a month from now, and a trailer was released today! So I thought I'd do a little video and react to it. We almost got the second one of these, baby! Oh boy! This reminds me of like Minecraft Bed Wars. Okay, I won't pause it. 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 I shouldn't pause it. We do that later. A robot <laughs> and a blob. Wait, so the robots are good? But why they fight Link? Oh my god! Actually, good music. Damn. This sounds great in headphones. Okay! Oh, the Croids! Damn! A good old town? <gasps> Whoa! There's populations around the ruins of Hyrule Castle Town! That's sick! <laughs> what? I don't know why it's sick, but it is! An ancient undersand ground pr uh, temple prison dungeon. <gasps> oh, I couldn't tell. I was looking at it for a second there. So oh, she turned glowy there. That looks cool. That looks like a stamina fruit in water. This music is really good. It's. It's Pan! What the fuck? That looked like Pan! That's Golden from uh, Wind Waker. Pristine Hyrule Castle. Zelda. We rely on your knight and that legendary sword he carries. Our last line of defense will be Link. Uh huh, uh huh, wow! Really? What else is new? Link. What did he sit there? Look like a mirror he hit. Blum. A bit unnecessary, but all right. A rocket? All right. <laughs> he does moon jumps now. He does moon jumps now. A ruby. Oh. There's a ruby on the arrow and it powered the thing because ruby gems are like powerful and stuff or something. Something <laughs> only I can do. Oh no, what happened to her tooth? Do not look away. You witness a king's revival and the birth of his new world. Eh. Uh, oh! I hear the saliva on his throat! Okay, let's go! Who's that? Ragtag ruffians. Link. Link. You are our final hope. The dragon from Zelda one. No way. Oh my God, Scooby Doo. Damn. All right. So that actually sounded incredible. Damn. Damn. What a good soundtrack Link. that was. You must find me. She, isn't she just in the clouds? Five twelve, dude. That's that's a that's a less than a month. I didn't know we were this close. Oh my god! I reacted to the Nintendo Direct they did on this game a little while ago. I wasn't. I didn't like it very much. But I do have a lot of concerns for Breath of the Wild 2, uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Um, I call it Breath of the Wild 2 because I'm afraid that it is just going to be Breath of the Wild. Well, I guess more like Breath of the Wild 1.5. I'm really worried about that. This trailer was super hype. That was awesome. I love that so much. I absolutely, I loved, it, it, it was epic. <laughs> I can't believe I'm unironically saying that in current year, but like it was actually really cool. Uh, 
I, I don't know about Ganon's voice, Ganondorf. I liked it in the last trailer. I think I remember how, liking it a lot. This time, I don't know, man. It, it, I'm a, I'm a bit unsure on it. I feel like it should have like, you know how like Bowser's voice has like a, like a, it has like a grumbly sound to it, right? I kind of feel like Ganondorf should also have that. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Um. Uh, but I mean that, that's a, that's a minor gripe, I suppose. Although you know, when a super scary bad guy has a voice that sounds like a Saturday morning cartoon character, which I mean, I mean, I guess that is what he is at the end of the day. But still, I want to be cool. Dang it! Um, wow. Okay, let's. I'm trying to like say what what I want to like think, and I think it would just be better if we watch this a second time when I paused it and commented on things as I see fit. So let's do that. Something about this it looks like Bed Wars. <laughs> I don't know, it reminds me of Minecraft Floating Islands. So, the robots find the little blob. I wonder if the robots are just a different faction entirely, or if they actually are initially friendly to Link. Because that was chopping a tree. What does that mean? Is this its face, or is it its nose? It looks like there could be a face there too. Bro, this music is so good. Damn! If you haven't heard this beginning part... What the hell? If you have not listened to this with headphones, please do. It actually sounds incredible. Oh, it's like Azta a a a a a a a Aztec? Aztec lines? See, it seems like this that make me worried because this literally is just Breath of the Wild 1 map. You know, I'm like... It's been so long since we got a Zelda game and we really got to have the same map. I know there's floating islands. And that's cool. Uh, where's this? Is this a Tino? Cause is this the lab up here? Maybe? Wasn't the lab more to the, oh, you can't see cause my cam. Up, up, up above here, up so high in the sky. Um, is that the lab? But it looked, wasn't that on the right? I guess it depends what your perspective is, but uh, is this a Tino? Is this a new village? When does this take place? Yeah, this is cool. This is, yeah, this is, like, this is the castle. But is this before Ganon takes over again? It has to be, right? This has to be, like, right at the beginning of the game. I would really like it if we got, like, a chance to see Hyrule Castle pristine and all that. Like, it would be kind of cool if, I did, if it were kind of like how an Ocarina of Time where you actually, you know, like, the first three dungeons, you get, like, a pre-undestroyed Hyrule, but you're still working towards something. Uh, like, if we're just gonna go, like, wow, we finally get to see what Hyrule Castle Town looks like in the end, it's evil again. <laughs> you know, that would kind of suck. I hope we get the, like, see some build up there, but I'm guessing not. There's just tents there and stuff, so there's nothing even there to begin with. It's just turning evil immediately, isn't it? The temples are the, the, uh, what are these called? Oh, they're green and swirly because now they've been upgraded because of the green and swirly thing that Link unlocked when he went into the crypt where Ganondorf is. That is definitely what that is, isn't it? So that means we're doing a million shrines, huh? Well, as long as we get dungeons too, I'm okay with that. The shrines were great. I don't know if I want to do them again, though, you know, even though I know they'd be different. That temple rising out of the ground is really cool and makes a lot of sense. Um, I feel like this is a trope that doesn't happen that much. Like, it happens at Al Aladdin. Yeah, like the, the, the jaguar cave thing, the Cave of Wonders. And what else does this happen in, really, like, an ancient thing rises out of the sands? There's probably a million things I'm just blanking out, but I can't, I can't even, like, imagine one right now. Oh... Are these black? Oh, and the castle rises, right? Wait. Oh, so yeah, this is like right at the beginning of the game. So we are definitely not getting a chill castle town for very long. Um, it looks like there is no castle town left. All these blocks and maybe all the islands. I wonder if they're flung up from where the castle flies up from. Maybe. So is this Ganondorf? He has, <laughs> it is. <laughs> he has squiggly air. Wait a minute. You know what that reminds me of? Okay, I'm actually looking at this now. Maybe it's not as uh, straightforward as I thought. So last time I made comparisons um, to Breath of the Wild and Princess Mononoke, the um, the Miyazaki film, and like Link's arm specifically looks a lot like the curse the main guy in that um, movie has. And Ganon's hair here, okay, it doesn't look as close as I thought it was. It looks like the curse the boar gets. 
He gets a curse on him. He gets all these squiggly lines on him. They're very squiggly. And they move a lot like Ganondorf's hair, actually. Which I guess more reminded... I thought they were red, but they're purple. But they're all like, they're like worms. Like little leeches, almost. These things! Wait, it was on the wolf that it gets on! Although it's the same curse as the bear, bear. Here's another image that makes it a bit easier to tell. Like, it looks like the squiggly... I don't... Is that just another coincidence? It probably is. That's maybe a bit of a stretch, I realize. But that's just... It moves exactly like it did in the movie, too. No! Why she glow? She glows. Is she being teleported? Uh, this is definitely Death Mount, obviously. This is cool. It looks like the mountains like collapsed or something. Is this a dungeon? This does look oh my god. I hope that is my main wish. I want dungeon so bad. This is so cool too! A snow thunderstorm and a a flying ship comes in? That's uh, probably like on top of a mountain or something. That's so cool. <laughs> this is a little silly. Uh, what is this? It looks like a stamina fruit. This looks cool, but if, stuff like this feels a lot out of place in um, <laughs> Zelda, in my opinion. This is just straight up futuristic spaceship spy shit. And also a map in Minecraft. This guy looks like Pan. Frying pans popped up when I searched Pan. I can't believe it. <laughs> He looks like Pan! I mean, I'm assuming everyone knows who Pan is, but just in case you don't, he looks a lot like Pan. What is Pan the god of again? A fertility deity! Oh! Oh my! Oh, Link and Zelda! Oh, oh, oh he's a... he's a fer fertility deity! Oh my god! Um, I mean, this is... definitely looks like the monks, but his hat's off. We never do see the monk's face, right? Do we? Wait, do we? I forget. Maybe we do. The... the... the, the monks that are in the... The temple things, you guys know what I'm saying. Um, this is, I mean, he looks kind of evil. Though. He do be looking kind of evil. He also, is this who is keeping Ganondorf's curse down, maybe? This reminds me of uh, Wind Waker, the boss in the God's Tower. Um, Golden, I think it's called. Maybe it is. Maybe you fight Golden's body in this game. That's gotta be right at the beginning. This has got this like, you just know shit's about to go down. This scene, like the whole ground's about to rumble, and then shit's about to happen or something. Why is it all sparkly though? <laughs> this reminds me of the Gate of Time and Skyward Sword. Wow. See, this is the monk, isn't it? The, it he even has this. It has to be. It has to be the evil pan-looking motherfucker. Who else could this be? What if it's her dad, and he's in a corpse? He's a cursed corpse. Cursed to cur having the curse of immortality, but he's dead. So he's like a dead king, and he has to- he's- he's guiding Zelda. Is this the same voice actor? I guess that'd be very easy to- to figure out, huh? Oh! What is he holding? Oh, it's a sword and a shield combined it. Interesting. So that, I guess that's an automatic- Parry? Is that what it's called? Where the time slows down, then you do the mash attack? Oh, nice! Wait, what was that? Was that a... This is typical Goron behavior. Oh yeah, this Goron's right there. Oh, I bet that's not the Rook, whatever his descendant. I bet that's his greeting to Link or something. <laughs> what is this rocket ship? Stuff like this, I'm a little... Eh, I don't know. It feels a little silly for Zelda, but... I mean, and this is a very silly series, I suppose. This is cool! This looks like it's a dungeon as well. In fact, this looks exactly like Death Mountain dungeon form. You know, like what we saw earlier with Link running up to it or something. This look like... Like the water... The, the lava... Um, waterfalls? Lava falls, I guess? <laughs> we saw those outside. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? It's a Talos versus whatever the hell this is. <laughs> is he holding a sword? I think it's holding a sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a ruby. It looks like a uh, ring pop. <laughs> oh, but my, that might not have been the ruby, though. Because it's a different shot. This is a normal arrow. Oh, so I was wrong then. What does the ruby shot do then? Is it just a... Does it just hit harder? Uh, dude, I like my idea better. Ratio Ruby and the Ruby powers this machine to turn on. That's cool though, the laser spin. It's a blender. That's this is a freaking ghost Leviathan from Subnautica. This is exactly what that is. 
Look at this scary ass motherfucker. I hate this guy. This, this is a scary ass monster. Um, that looks exactly like this though, which uh, you know, I don't get scared easy in games. This is one of the few things that fucking scared me. Um, all right, yeah, that's that's exactly what that looks like. What is this? That is, it looks like the Kokiri emeralds, or th I think maybe. Not really much of an emerald, but it looks like a Korok seed. No, Zelda, those aren't seeds. It's shits. Put it down. Do that Lionel have horns? Like like. Look away. Moose antlers. <laughs> he has moose antlers. <laughs> You know, like you hear, if you're wearing headphones, you can probably hear that. You can hear the saliva in his throat. I don't like that. That's gross. <laughs> Let's listen to it again. Earth of his new world. Ugh. That is just, an, that's just a Splatoon enemy. <laughs> Who is this? Is this? Wait. She's wearing the thing that Zelda had in her hands. I thought she was a Gerudo, but like she has do Gerudos have pointy ears? She looks like a she looks like a forest elf or something. This looks like a Kokiri or something almost. I don't know. And like the pinecone kind of earrings. This looks like deer antlers. This she seems very foresty. But the background looks like it's a desert, so I'm kind of confused. I don't know who this girl is. She looks cool, though. Oh, magic user. Wow. Wait, was that her? Did she shoot those lasers? But this is cool. You go on, like, raids, maybe? That's cool if you go, like, on raids and stuff to, like, help towns or something. That'd be really cool. That's what this looks like, doesn't it? They're all ready to attack. These guys are crouching. It looks like they're about to, like, a, like, a raid a village. That's cool. I wonder if they'll actually be helpful or not i hope so and i wonder if they only travel with you for a bit or if they like you could like i wonder if you have like a party that'd be kind of cool or like a follower like in skyrim this looks sick the dragon damn oh they have like the eyes that like look at you with, with the, the miasma stuff um wow you are our final hope hey that's mine why does she have the sword i want it wait so Zelda has the Master Sword. You don't, I would imagine you don't get that, like at the end of the game. You, surely you get that kind of, you know, midpoint, like normal. Link. Oh, did I miss this? No. You must find me. I hope Zelda isn't just useless again. I mean, it's, she probably is going to be, but I mean, there's, why? Why she always have, Ganon's already taking over the world. Does Zelda always have to be like kidnapped forever? Like Link's gonna save the world regardless. Like, is she, especially this Zelda. This Zelda has some like cool personality and such. It'd be nice if she like, if you find her midway in the game and you save her and then she like helps out with like, cause she's a scientist. Isn't she like, science my fucking book up or my armor or whatever the hell the magic device is in this game. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this looks incredible. I'm very excited. Um, there are things I'm worried about, like I said, um, there are- people seem to forget. Breath of the Wild was a very good game, but it did have a lot of problems. Um, and I'm worried that those problems will not be fixed. Um, and I'm worried this is gonna feel more like Breath of the Wild 1 than a Tears of the Kingdom 1, you know? Um, I'm, that- those are my main concerns. Uh, so I hope there's enough. Like, there are a little new things. I guess it's really the map that I'm concerned about. <laughs> I guess that's really it. It's the map. Um, the floating islands, I don't think that's enough. Because, um, I mean, think of Skyward Sword, all, like all those islands in that game. It didn't really do it any good. No one remembers any of the islands. I mean, you remember a few, like Skyloft and maybe the, like, the party one where you fall down. Like, there's the Bamboo Island. Those are really the only ones I could think of that had any significance at all. Um, so, like, they're, they were kind of pointless in Skyward Sword almost. Well, not pointless, but not memorable is what I'm saying. And I'm worried that it's going to be a big issue for this game as well. And then if the Sky Islands are boring and the map is the same, that's a big problem in my opinion. Um, but hey, I guess surely they know that would be a problem, right? That seems like if you're doing a Breath of the Wild 2, that's the first thing you would think of that would be a big issue. Hmm, what do we do about the map? We can't use the same one, obviously. Uh, so I hope they are, have thought of other ways to mitigate that. I don't know how the entire world changes in, like, no time span at all. But I guess, hey, well, hopefully they fixed it. They figured something out. Um, but anyway, that are, those are my thoughts. I'm so excited for this game. Uh, I will be getting it day one. I'll be playing it a lot. And it's going to be fan-fucking-tastic. Thanks for watching. Um, goodbye.